All right, hey, what's up everybody? Unboxing a new base today. Have not treated myself to anything for a very long time for obvious reasons, but pretty psyched about this one. So let's see what we got. I'm using my trusty Xylus, which seems to work very well. Let me go ahead and dig into this. What is this? Oh, cool. Little Fender note inspected by. I do appreciate that. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. I'm pretty psyched right now. Comes in a little bag. Actually, it's not a terrible bag. There's nothing else in there. This came from Japan. This is a Fender, a Japanese Fender instrument. I like the stuff made in Japan quite a bit. But this case is pretty chill. My needed Allen wrenches for setup. Give this my own setup probably. All right. Take a look at this all around. Ooh, pretty sweet. Do one, one level of opening at a time because you have to enjoy these moments in life. Uh, I was recently in the hospital for vertigo. If anyone's ever had that before, but it's pretty intense and I thought I was gonna die, so I decided to treat myself to this. Look at that, look at that. That's nice, huh? Well, now we all know what it is. Fender Jazz Bass Special. Whoa, super dark rosewood. Oh yeah. Wow. Wow. I'm beyond happy right now. First of all, it's super lightweight. The rosewood is super dark and this Torino red, it looks so much better in real than online by light years. Very excited right now. Thing is just gorgeous. This is cool. Made in Japan. Number plate. Now a lot of people, you know, don't were dogging on this because they're like, well, who's interested in this model? But I'll go through the specs and then we'll also give it a sound test. Beautiful bass. Absolutely gorgeous bass. Wow. Okay, catch up with you all in a minute. All right, so we're just taking a closer look at the some of the specs on this bass. It's a normal, regular scale, 34 inch scale. It's got jumbo frets, which I'm a, I'm a huge fan of. Uh, a lot of my other basses have narrow, tall frets, which have become very popular. But I like the jumbo frets. It's got a bone nut, which I'm always a fan of. The PJ configuration, obviously. It's got a pickup selector switch which for me is huge. I love to be able to just slam it to the back pickup if I want to, or just the front pickup if I want to, you know? Uh, they got these knobs just like they had back in the 80s. These, I love these, they're kind of the rubberized, cool uh, fender capped. It's got a 12 inch radius, fingerboard radius, so it's a bit flatter than your normal fender, which is typically nine and a half inch radius. And if it's a vintage style, it'll be seven and a quarter. But I like the 12 inch radius, it's, it's pretty cool for me. You know, again, this is all subjective, it's all personal. Now the fretwork on this is absolutely sublime. As to be expected from Fender Japan. That's the way the Japanese, uh, for the most part, like to build things, you know, fit and finish, superb. 
It also has a TBX tone pot. It's got a notch at noon, which from that point back to zero would be your normal behaving tone pot. And then from the noon point forward all the way up to 10 would be an extra treble boost on top. So I'm gonna find out what that's like when we plug it in. It's got the black hardware, which I love. It's got the actually Goto Japanese tuning machines, which are probably my favorite tuning machines. Everything Goto makes, I'm a huge fan of. Beautiful dark rosewood. That's a nice look. So that's the deal. The next step will be firing it up, taking it for a spin. There it is. Fender Japan Boxer Series reissue. They're calling it the Boxer, even though it's really the Fender Jazz Bass Special, because the original Boxer, if I'm not mistaken, had this weird angle pickup configuration, and it was a 32 inch, it was a medium scale. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Fender Japan Boxer Jazz Bass Special reissue. They're calling it a precision bass because it's a precision body. Jazz bass neck. Talk to you soon.